To be a Getty is an extraordinary thing. I was always fascinated by the story itself. It's like we're from another planet. This is like an old-fashioned fairy tale. We look like you, but we're not like you. The word Getty conjured a memory for me. The viciousness of the people who kidnapped the lad and the photograph with his ear missing. My grandfather wasn't just the richest man in the world. He was the richest man in the history of the world. I remember that it was all over the news and my parents were talking about it. And of course the Getty family was very famous. I'm telling you this so you can understand the things you're about to see. Mr. Getty, your grandson. Getty absolutely worship money. It actually turns out to be the thing that disintegrates the family. $17 million to release him. I don't have any money. Get it from your father-in-law. He has all the money in the world. It's the crux of the film, is that he has something that she wants, and he won't give it to her. Mr. Getty is unavailable. I'm sorry, Miss Getty. He had a completely unsentimental attitude toward the kidnapping. I have 14 grandchildren. If I start paying ransoms, I'll have 14 kidnapped grandchildren. So there was some, some sort of logic in that, even though it was as cold as ice. Tell him I'm coming. And in the middle of it is the life and death situation. I work for Mr. Getty. I'm gonna help you find your son. Then you realize the severity of the situation, uh, what the real stakes were with Paul. We need to pay the ransom. They will do things to Paul that cannot be undone for any amount of money. No! But he continued to leave young Paul in danger. And we'll take his ear, his eye, her head. Set my boy free. It's quite powerful. I'm fighting an empire. It's about this money which tears the family apart. Extreme wealth can be a terrible curse. I just want to go home. I don't think it's about money. It's about power. Business. Family. Get over me! Get over me! 